5779 is the fourth year of the Shemitah cycle, which means that it's a Maaser Sheni year. Last year, 5778 was the third year and a Maaser Ani year. How do we know whether to separate Maaser Sheni or Maaser Ani from our fruits and vegetables this year? For vegetables, the determining stage is the harvest, and the cutoff date is Rosh Hashanah. This is how it works. For vegetables harvested after Rosh Hashanah, we set aside Maaser Sheni. But if the vegetables were harvested before Rosh Hashanah, we still need to set aside Maaser Ani. On the other hand, the determining stage for fruit is Chanata, blooming, the beginning of the fruit's formation. And the cutoff date is Tu Bishvat. Only fruit that blooms after Tu Bishvat this year, such as apricots and cherries, will be subject to Maaser Sheni. Fruit available in the market before that is subject to Maaser Ani because it all bloomed in 5778, which was a Maaser Ani year. Keep in mind that in order to take Turumot and Maasrot this year, it's not enough to read the special text. We also have to designate a coin to transfer the Kedusha of Maaser Sheni. Beit HaOtzar designates a coin for its members so they can transfer Maaser Sheni Kedusha to it several times every day.